today's guide we're going to see how to get that beautiful, beautiful new gear that we have. First and foremost, you have to claim it. Once you log on, log in to your game, there's going to be one reward. You do have to sign up to get some of these rewards, not all of them. But this is available to you as soon as you exit a white orchard. Now, there are two possible case scenarios for this to happen. You could potentially be uh, teleported to a Mir's mm, hearing. But for those of you guys that have already exited uh, Vizima, all you have to do is look for a signpost, then press Y. I do not know the command uh, triangle for PS players and PC. Well, it's really not worth it playing this game on PC right now until they fix <laughs> what they broke. Anyways, you're going to go to the Royal Palace in Bissima. You're going to fast travel there. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Now, once we are here, either you go to Emir. Why am I so heavy, dude? Why am I so heavy? Anyways. Either you go to Emir or not, uh, you're going to get teleported at the end of the conversation by the Chamberlain to this place. And this is the path that you have to follow if you haven't acquired the armor yet. So basically you have to walk all of this hallway that I am walking through right now. If you are here right after White Orchard, this is where you will end up. You will also be here in this room, so the gear is going to be just right here. Remember, to be able to claim this gear, you have to register an account. Now, as you can see, we have the all of this gear. Let me take a look at it. Yeah, there we go. Now this one right here, the um, the white tiger of the West armor, that is always going to be there. But if you want this one right here, you need to register. Once you log into your game after the new patch update, you're going to be requested to make an account for something. Do not ignore that. If you ignore that, you can manually go there through the main menu so yeah I will definitely most definitely have footage on where it's going to be but you have to register yourself to that you have to sign in that uh, otherwise you will not get this piece of armor this other one it's always going to be here doesn't matter as soon as you update your game this piece of armor is going to be right here now what I would advise for you to do is uh, to have some space, extra space in your inventory once you come in here because they are really heavy and they are going to be occupying quite a lot of your space. But uh, that being said, let's actually take a look at them and see how good they are. First of all, most of the stats, let me equip all of them. There we go. Now for the weapons, uh, those the thousand flower weapons, those are level seven, and they have armor piercing, art sign intensity, critical hit damage bonus, critical hit chance bonus experience from humans and non-humans, and one slot for runes. The other one, on the other hand, has why am I not? Oh, yeah. The other one, on the other hand has Igni, sign intensity, critical hit damage bonus, critical hit chance bonus experience from monsters, and it's in level 7 armor. Uh, these ones have their usual resistances, Arden, uh, Arden Igni, sign intensity, so this armor is focused mm, on early game, very early game, this is a level 7 armor, for someone that really focuses on using quite a lot of Igni and quite a lot of Art. So this is a little bit more of medieval looking armor, but again, you're going to be using this armor if you want to focus on casting Art and Igni, you don't have to, but you will get that extra bonus. The armor itself look, uh, looks a little bit more medieval as well as the armor, they have good scabbards and their design on the handles. 
they are really medieval. The other one, on the other hand, that is a level 11 armor, the White Tiger of the West armor. Let's take a look at that now. And this is the interesting thing. It has th their katanas, their dual katanas. How cool is that? That's really damn cool. As for the weapons of themselves, this one has critical hit chance, level 11, everything is level 11. Critical hit chance as well, chance to, to cause bleeding. We have Vitality, they are both medium armor, both of them. This one has Vitality and Adrenaline Point Gain. So this is more focused for a warrior. Here's the looks of the armor, and again, this is a little bit more focused for warrior characters. For melee fighting. You can also use the other one for, for melee fighting as well. But this is the one that's going to be more focused on melee fighting. Again, this one is for melee. And this one is a little bit more for sign casting BLs. At the end of the day, they are not that... Uh, uh, you will stop using them, it, they will carry you through the early stages of the game but in the early stages of the game where you don't actually have a determined BL for you already made then you're most likely not going to be using them that much when it comes to the build on itself but it will determine your playstyle and if you're going for a sign playstyle, sign casting playstyle then these armors can really path your way through it Anyways, uh, that being said, remember to, lo to like the video if you like the content, and if no one else you today, you're a gorgeous and beautiful person, you are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. I'll be seeing you got them gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one, and goodbye.